the wind. Oof, the wind. Oh my gosh. Oh. Yay, he found his toys. <laughs> Yay, toys. You know, I mean, the, the wind, the wind is bad enough, but having the power be out. It, I feel like it's funny that in here, it doesn't feel as windy as it does in the house. It doesn't sound as windy as it, it does in the house. doesn't sound as windy. How's that? Better insulated than our, the house. The, the, the windows are thicker here than they are over there. Yeah. Do we want a blanket on here or anything? Give me a minute. I gotta fix my hair. I can't think <laughs> about video things with my hair a mess. Good enough for government work. Do you think our subscriber knows how much work we go through to make a video? Do you think they care? I was just gonna say, you know what? I, I'll bet they don't care. I'll bet all that matters to them is that we make the video. Well, I would be happy if they just watched the whole thing. So. I feel like we get plenty of comments from people saying how much they enjoy our videos, which is good, right? Yes, it is. All right, how do we want to record this? Uh, with a camera. Okay. Can we have our lamps on? Um, just turn on the inverter. Can we do all that? burned out. Oh, and I have another one at home, too. Yeah, we could turn the inverter on and have lamps if you want. I feel like I want to just... I don't know, just change it up a little bit. Okay. Oh, there's a lamp. How does the light look? Is this like too much? Very hot? Yeah, it's it's hot and it's not bright enough on this side. <laughs> Maybe if we opened this up. All right, I've got 66% battery. We oh, have to no. get it all done in that time, okay? How, how long does that last? We'll find out. Like Roll tape. All right. Are we, are we rolling? We're rolling. It's finally over. I mean, it's been over for five months, but we're finally getting to the last subscriber. video. For subscriber, it's yeah. finally over. Right. Oh, You're the one that wanted him to be in the video. Yeah. Okay. He's digging under the blanket and trying to pull it off the couch. Yeah. It happens. <laughs> so this is the final video from our, what, what ended up being called the Home by Halloween trip which was after the rally so the last video was this storm shelter we yeah. were in Stillwater Oklahoma yeah. which is where this video picks up so still in Stillwater still in st the entire purpose of the trip was to stop and see Bill and Penny yay Bill and Penny <laughs> it wasn't it was the caravan you might remember um, but we well did. but let's let's say that the route was designed to go through and stop in Stillwater and see Bill and Penny. So it was uh, Billy Ritter and then Bill and Penny. Mm -hmm. No, Jimmy, you're not going outside, okay? <laughs> We're doing a video. Come on. Come on. Come, Come on. on. Get Come over here. here. Come on. So we did go see oh boy. Uh, Bill and Penny, and their, their place is amazing. Being retired at home. There you go. Really is their thing. They, you know, they have, what, 40 acres, beautiful yeah. farm. A pond. Um, beautiful home, garden, pond. Barn. Barn. I meant to say barn when I said garden. Several gardens. She had a cut flower. And I met Penny on Instagram like five years ago. And we just became fast friends. I've been to her home a couple of times back in Oklahoma, flew back there and visited. And then, um, I mean, Dee and, and Penny felt like they knew each other because, right. you know, we mar Penny and I Marco Polo all the time. But anyways, and, and you know, and, and she talked to Dee. But anyhow, so this was the first time that Dee actually met Penny in real life and then also met her husband, Bill, and they were fast friends. And we're old friends now because yes. they're both old. <laughs> Right. Sun comes over mountains and valleys, turn to gold forests, shed their winter and birds sing songs of hope lovely. When you're right here beside me, love restoring. Oh, you. 
No, that was that was fun. That was such um, fun. And we stayed the park we stayed in, the one with the storm shelters, was just like what yeah. a few miles from Penny's yeah, house. Yeah, it was, was really it was great. under ten minutes. Yeah, it was like super five good minutes to get there. So super good. We we spent the week there, um, and then it was time to head home. Finally, wah, wah. finally head home. Hey guys, what day is it? You ready? Yeah. They know it's travel day. They're ready to go. But we're not ready to put them in the truck yet, so they have to wait. You have to wait. Soon. We are leaving the Whitetail Woods RV campground. I think it used to be like the Cowboy Corral or something. Anyway, and there's storm shelters we didn't need to use. Park is nice enough. I mean, big concrete pads. What we were really here for was uh, to see our friends Penny and Bill. Used to be just Sydney's friend Penny, but now Bill's my friend, so it's our friends Penny and Bill. But before we roll out for an eight hour day, it's not only Trailer Dragon Day, it's Sticker Catching Up in Time Day. Just one. Just the one. One and done. Two. This is the last one on this trip. We've got Kansas to do. Oh my gosh, I forgot about Kansas. Right? Oh my god. <laughs> I forgot about her face. That's the best part. How could I forget about Kansas? How could I forget about Kansas? It's like forgetting about. You should about... do the right hand. I should do the right sticker. <laughs> yeah, oh, like, that's why. Why doesn't that's... that fit? Okay, that makes more sense. It does make a lot more sense. Okay, there's Oklahoma. <laughs> Gosh, I can't believe I forgot Kansas. Poor Kansas. Right? Feels like a redheaded stepchild. This right Kansas now. is unforgettable, or Kansas is forgettable. There we go. Apparently. All right. A redheaded sticker child? Yeah. Yay. All right, let me run and get Kansas. All right. Filling them up. Come on, focus. There we go. Yeah. Kansas is on its way. We do the correct one. Doing what we call the right way. Using what we like to call the right way. The right in that emphasis on the right syllable. Right. <laughs> you put the wrong emphasis on the wrong syllable. So what's really cool is to look at how few we have left. Wow. On, you know? Oh, West Virginia, they're all on its onesies. Poor West Virginia. <laughs> I feel so bad about West Virginia. That's the last sticker. That's it. All right. A bunch we did good for West Virginia right all right half the way we go I wouldn't not recommend this to people the laundry room's a little sketch but you know the machines were clean so pricey and no hot water and no hot water. Yeah. That that was a bummer. I could not wash um, my Norwex because of not having hot water. So that was that was unfortunate. I was so ready to be home. It's ready to be home, which is really weird because this was only like what ended up being 57 days, yeah, it was and our spring trip months. was 88 days. And I feel like this one I got I got done faster. And I don't know if it's because of being on the East Coast with the humidity, just kind of at the wrong time of year when it was so hot and stuff. I don't know, but anyway. I also think when you're getting to the end of a trip, 
you're, then you're even more ready to be home because you know yeah. that it's coming. So we were going to make the trip from Stillwater to home in three days, and we wanted to come home so bad. We, we said, let's just make it two long, long we days. We just whacked it in thirds. And, and, <laughs> and multiplied that by 17 and divided it by 25. made it home in two days. I don't remember those days really. Not they that that really makes a difference. I mean, not that who, who's surprised by the fact that Cindy doesn't remember, <laughs> but I don't remember them being long days. I don't either, but I, I looked at the, uh, the map and they were over 400 miles each. Um, and Trip Wizard said one was like almost eight hours and the other was eight hours. So they were, they were long days. Um, Where'd we stay on the way home? We, so we stayed two nights to get home or? One night in between so still we left still water then spent okay yeah. so where where did we stay because i don't remember that we stayed in at uh in fort sumner oh. um, new mexico valley view mobile home and rv park oh. normally we stay That's away from mobile homes. the thing the thing is the thing is between Stillwater and home there's not much especially on the back roads of new mexico and texas your, your choices for RVs are limited off of the interstate on that route. So I picked the, the best one we could find and it was actually very nice. We are at the Billy the Kid RV park. I think that's what it's called. I know it's not, it's like Valley View. Um, mobile home and RV park. But the Billy the Kid Museum is just down this road in Forts, down the road in Fort Sumner. Got a nice little sunset going. and we're beat. We had 30 to 40 mile an hour headwinds the entire way today. It's about a nine and a half hour day. Just, it's tough driving in the wind like that. And my gas mileage is in the Tweety because that'll get you seven to eight miles per gallon with that much headwind in this particular rig. But we don't have much wind here. Better hopes for tomorrow. And 30 bucks a night for this campground. Can you believe it? Valley View Mobile Home and RV Park. It's nice. Got a pull through um, level. We're not even going to un unhook it all tonight. Get an early start tomorrow and go home. All right, let's go make some dinner. It's home of the, the Billy the Kid Museum is there. And it's... Oh, we stayed right down the street from that. We is did. that the place where we had to just like put the cash in the That's box? That's it. Oh, so it was a memory. nice park. We got there after the museum was closed. Jimmy. Come here, buddy. Should At I least just stop whining. Should you what? let him out? See if he has to do something. Yeah, I guess. Well, but then we got we're, we're wasting battery here. <laughs> well, we can stop it. We'll stop it. Let me just see. Do you have to? Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. <sighs> yeah, I suppose my hair is all gorgeous. Away. All right, so Jimmy oh, went out, so windy out, looked around, there. said it's too windy, came back in. Although his hair looks fabulous it in the wind, so unlike mine. Anywho, um, speaking of dog hair, that's unusual. So the the park was nice enough, and there were some mobile homes there, but they were like on the sides, and in in the middle was all pull throughs, full hookups. It was. There was some road noise that bothered you. I do remember there being some some sort yeah. of noise. I was just trying to remember what that was. And once in a while, a train in the distance. But Did I you notice how he said that bothered me? <laughs> he somehow, he's got like a shut off valve on his ears <laughs> when he goes to sleep at night. <laughs> Dead silence. He hears nothing. She's jealous. So the, that particular park was 30 bucks a night. Um, we could go pay after 9 a.m. when the museum opened, or you could just drop money into the, the slot they had there. Um, all I had was 20s. I didn't have any change. We had some quarters oh, from laundry. Right. And so I filled up an envelope, you know, with a $20 bill and $10 of quarters went up. And the slot was like that. I would have had to feed them through one at a time. <laughs> so we just paid 40 bucks and, and counted it oh, as good. So they got a tip. Yeah, so memo to us. <laughs> Make sure you have change. Position. I think if it would have been a bad park or had something that we just really didn't like, it would have been a good idea to just just put the quarters just in there the just quarters. one at a time. Right. All pay in all quarters. 
Honey. But we knew we had another long day ahead of us, so we packed it up fairly early for us and headed out. And do you really remember that, or is it because you've watched the video? Because I, I really I remember that. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't okay. I haven't watched that part of the video. Hmm. All right. What of us packing up early? Yeah, because it doesn't sound early. Right, does it? I know, right? It's like <laughs> doesn't sound I'll sleep early. Right? There's an RV right. park right there. Look at that. And there's people in them. And there's another one up here. There's a radiator springs gas station. Yeah. That's crazy. That's just nuts. I want to know what this town used to be. What town was the name of it? Vaughn? Vaughn. I want to find out the history of Vaughn. There's the, uh, the RV park. There's the sands. Wow. Cafe, no roof. And his RV. There's a couple uh, of rigs in there. Yeah. Shit, your business. Come back soon. <laughs> Vaughn. Vaughn is a town in Guadalupe County, New Mexico. The population was 446 at the 2010 census, down from the figure of 539 in 2000. It's located in an intersection. Da, da, da. Let's see. Where's, where's the history? Vaughn is named after Major George W. Vaughn, a civil engineer who was employed by the Santa Fe Railroad. Vaughn was established in the early 20th century as a Southern Pacific Railroad town. The town's importance grew when a second railroad, the Eastern Railway of New Mexico, uh, was completed in 1907 with Vaughn as a dis division point. A large two-story depot, a roundhouse, and a Harvey House hotel were constructed shortly thereafter. Vaughn was incorporated in 1919 and in 1920 had a population of 888, according to the U.S. Census. The Guadalupe County Sheriff's Department, New Mexico Rangers, New Mexico State Police, and Motor Transportation Police, and the Vaughn Police Department presently a one-man agency, uh -huh. like Barney, all patrol the town, which according to the United States Homeland Security is a known drug smuggling route. So that's what's here. Wow. All right. And this was at the 2000 census, by the way. There were 232 households. Median income for a household in the town was 23,000. Wow. We've still got the wind, that's fun, but at least it's more of a tailwind today. Wanna to tell everybody what day it is? It's trailer dragon day. Yes. And today we're dragging the trailer home. Yes. Yay! Dragging the trailer we're home. Be home today. Well tonight. This evening, this afternoon. This afternoon. This afternoon. So, I'm so excited. We had it scheduled for four travel days to get home and we said <laughs> We can do that in two. two. Remember that name that tune? I do. <laughs> I can get us home in two, two days. days. <laughs> and so that is... Are we uh, in the middle of the road? We're in the middle of the road. Okay. Just There's nobody out here. We are in... The map says Encino, New Mexico. We just went through Vaughn, which was interesting. We got some pictures and story there. It was, it was crazy. But, um, yeah, so only, uh, I don't know, six more hours, I think. It, uh, it is, it's not as pretty here, in my opinion, as what we've been seeing over the past couple of months. Right. But yeah. it will be so good to be home, because it is pretty there. It is. And it's, it's cool, I must, I must say, that it's nice to have cooler weather after being in, well, Oklahoma was a little hot, New Jersey was miserable. Uh, but we're looking, we I are. hate that I have... Um, that kind of a bad attitude, not a bad attitude, maybe a, maybe a, a not so fond memory of New Jersey, just yeah. because it was so humid and hot while we were there that I'm just like, I never want to go to New Jersey again. <laughs> and I don't want to feel that way because I think, I think we did that stretch of the country at just, just the wrong, just the wrong time. time, just the wrong time. It's, it's been a hot summer for everybody everywhere, yeah. I guess. But yeah, we are. Oh my gosh, is that an airstream? Look. Oh my gosh, finally, flash your lights. Yay! They don't care. <laughs> Yay, airstream. We get so excited when we see an airstream, but we drove, what, 10 hours 
yesterday. Yeah. Not a single one. One Someone. airstream and it was parked. Is it a park? You know, at a place. So that was fun. I'm putting it on my list. Do it. Do it. Okay. Do it. Mm -hmm. Do it. All right. I gotta start looking for a place for breakfast. Jack in the box. Is it just me, or did anybody else notice how different D and I look? Now, as opposed to on that clip you just saw. Right. You know what? I think our subscriber is a very, very, very nice person <laughs> for not ever commenting and saying, my goodness, you guys' hair is hideous. Have you ever thought about getting your hair trimmed? You know what? We'd been getting our hair trimmed for the last, what, three and a half years right. or so since we moved up here. And... We just couldn't find a hairstylist that like knew what to do to hair other than snip the bottom of it off. And we kind of had given up and we, but we'd tried, we tried a few different ones. And so my daughter finally said, mom, I've got this girl you need to, you need to try. So we went to this girl. She, she's 30 minutes from where we live yeah. while we were on our last trip. I made the appointment because I wanted to make sure as soon as we got home, we could we could get in and get our hair cut. So we got in and got our hair cut. I didn't do much to mine that first time. D, right. D pretty much did this and went back to what D typically always does. And when I watch these videos and your hair was so long. <laughs> so long. So long. So um, Bun. And, and I think I was, I don't know, I just, I mean, I got it trimmed up and cleaned up and it looked pretty good. It looked better anyways. But then this last time I went in and I just said, whack it off. <laughs> whack it off right so i did and, you did, and, it's and now it's cute. all just wind blown and so adorable that's what it is so i am super glad to be through with the videos with our old hair and let's get to making videos with our good hair that's what i say let's just throw all the other ones editing room floor when we started the trip to the caravan we didn't finish the west coast videos because we were like let's just start clean and and we'll just be caught up the whole time and we're almost five and a half months behind on these videos the faster we go the behinder we get but but now we can catch up because we had some downtime we did but we did um hit one traffic jam around Sakaro, and that was it i mean the rest of the trip was just getting home Whether it's for better or for the worse As long as we're together we'll make it through this I knew that it was true from the very first time I kissed your lips I know every day Sometimes you may feel like giving up But you just gotta look back and remember what we're made of I'll stay by your side when storms are I mean, we stay on this road. Well, I know, but it, it takes a couple of turns. Okay, fine. I'm going to close that out, and I'm going to route myself to Springerville because it won't show me Springerville. What? What is playing? What is happening? <laughs> Nothing is open on my phone. Nothing. I have no Wow. App open. Now I've turned it off. <laughs> What's happening? Oh, it's music. It was my music. Somehow my music started playing. <laughs> it's freaking me out. <laughs> what do I have to do? Uh, 
screw it up to write this third year. <laughs> it's entertaining. You'd be so bored if I weren't here, and you know it. Yeah, this is true. Jeez. Make my life for living, baby. Oh, uh, whatever. Yeah, you shouldn't say that. Okay, sure. 45 miles to Springerville. What happens there? Well, I don't know. I just needed to know where it was at. But somewhere between here and there is the state line. That's what I'm trying to find out. I'm trying to get an idea for how far the state line is. I'll stay by your side. There's so much more to you than what meets the eye. A beauty that goes deeper than the Just so rubbing happy. your dirty <laughs> self on the bed. <laughs> You're so happy. Yay! I'm so excited to be home! Yay! Yay! Home! Woohoo! Yes! Yes! Man, Man Sam was boring. glad to be home. Greta was so glad to be home. <laughs> this is so cute. Hey, did we mention today is April 5th? It is. And uh, we are at home, our home base. And, uh, but the Airstream is parked just kind of right across the street from where we live. So we've been working on some stuff in here and, um, it's windy as all get out out there and we're supposed to get snow tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. But we're leaving in a couple of days. Another rally. Going down to the valley for yep. a few days and then to an Airstream rally in Parker, Arizona. From the valley to a rally. From the valley to a rally. Yeah, that's right. That's mm. true. All right. So what are we watching next? Well, so you did ask what videos are coming up. I did. What videos are coming up? I don't know up? what the next one will be. After the still water, after this after one. After this one. We get home. And then I, the next I think thing it was is the, 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 rally the rally at Wilcox. I think it's the Wilcox. And that was in yeah. the 1st of December. Our first Arizona Airstream Club rally yeah. is yeah. what's coming up next. Yeah. And then we have um, me ruining the batteries, me building new batteries. Make sure you see that one. Building. He's building batteries. Building batteries. And I don't mean like with hammers and nails and stuff, because <laughs> when he told me he was going to build batteries, I was like, how do you do that? But, yeah. yeah so that that's, that's cool. it's really cool. Um, lith we went lithium. So that is coming up. Um, El Centro. Another rally. Another El yeah, Centro, California. The women's rally. The women's rally. I went to a rally all on my onesies. Well, I didn't drive there. We'll talk about that when we do that rally, but Deep took me there. So for now, my batteries are getting low. And is that what the flashing light the, means? The yellow is. Oh, I see it now. <laughs> and uh, she can't see either. So we should wrap this video up and okay. uh, call it a call it a trip, or at least a, a, a video of a trip. All right. Okay. Okay. Let's do that. All right. I'm excited for the next one. Next time on Hathaway we go. Well, speaking of next time, while while you're subscribing and liking this video, ring the bell there so you get notified when the next video comes out. Ring this bell right here. Can you put can you put a bell there? I can put a bell right there, but the one they want to ring is either here oh. or maybe over here. Because there's like a. So you can't put a bell here then. Well, I can put a bell there. Okay, I, that's a challenge. I will put a bell there. Put a bell here. They can't do. I don't want any. Of, I don't want any of this at this moment in the video. Just <laughs> ring the bell. I just want a bell. Boop. It doesn't have to be like, you know, the okay. YouTube notification. It could be like a little, you know, be a bell. Ding, ding, ding. I need in the fitting room that kind of bell, you know. Okay. So ring the ring the. You can bell. edit all that out too if you want. But whatever. We'll see what we keep. But Jimmy, yeah. I combed your hair so that you could come over here and be in the movie. Where's mom? <gasps> here there I she am! Is. Yay! Yay. It's mom, come and see me. <laughs> Jimmy's hair is fabulous, and he looks like Fabio in the wind. So good yes, he it. looks yeah. pretty fabulous in the wind. We're letting his hair grow back out. We got our hair shorter, and Jimmy's getting longer hair again. Right? Oh, yeah. We're well, the best boy. All right. Okay. Tell everybody goodbye. It's time to say goodbye, Jim. Goodbye.
Uh oh. And Jim just messed up his face. What's going on? <laughs> There's a surprise. Why'd you do that? All right, Jim, I need uh, that footstool out of the way. Come on, Jim. Come on. Boop. Come on. Oh, good boy. There we go. Okay. That's where he needs to be. Anyways. So I need to. I need to get over here. Get in the. Get in the shot. How's that? Your elbow's right on my. <laughs> what was that RV park? I don't. I don't know. I don't. Did, can you? Can you describe it? So coming up. You want to talk about your hair? Yeah. Because I'll cut it here. Okay. And you can say yeah. And see. 